While disaster recovery provides a window of opportunity to invest in resilience, the opportunity is restricted by the damage that just occurred and our urge to return to normal as quickly as possible. We wanted to demonstrate why it's so important to start preparing for the possibilities and not waiting for a disaster before we start acting. We have a tendency to wait until something happens and react with an undertone of surprise, but in reality there are steps that can be taken now to better prepare. The experience of Christchurch is a really good example of how we need to think through the details of possibilities in the future. Christchurch was not as well prepared for the seismic risk it faced. Our history is no longer a good predictor of our future. There are moments when the world appears stuck, and there are moments when the world can suddenly take a great leap forward. Resilience requires imagination. What challenges will our cities face in the future? And how can we prepare for them now before anything happens? To conclude, we revisit our panel of infrastructure and engineering professionals from around the globe to hear their thoughts on what action we could take right now. We can design for very extreme events. How do we design for the unexpected? We can think about both human infrastructure and natural infrastructure.